that's for your sister girl Joy. Back with another video. How you doing? Well, this is my, I think I'm all turned around. I don't know my days, the days of the week. I don't know the date. I don't know nothing. <laughs> so my body's still getting adjusted. I believe this is my second day here. This is my second day. Yes, because I got in, I arrived around three in the morning, four in the morning. Um, I showed you guys a little bit and then I took a nap. And the principal of the school was knocking on the door and she was like, I'm outside the door. I was like, okay, I have my eyelashes on. I was like, all right, I'm coming. She was like, should I come back later? I was like, no, it's fine. I have time for eyelashes. I need to put my bra on, okay? So I was, you know, so she came in wanting to know if everything was okay and, you know, just checking on me. And she was like, oh, you got five minutes, everything, five minutes, five minutes. I was like, sure. So baby, I was in the street all day yesterday, not made up. No lashes, no, no nothing. Naked. You get what you get. Nobody will know me out here anyway. <laughs> so yesterday I learned a little more about the Armenian culture and what it's like to be here. I've been trying to keep an open mind that this is not my home. This is not my culture. So I've been trying to be patient and understanding. So the number one thing that I've learned so far um, Armenians are not big on air conditioning, so um, the cars I've been in so far, like you know, Uber, no AC. My apartment has a unit in the living room only, so there are no ACs here. They have a, I have a washing machine, but no dryer. A lot of places don't have dryers. They line dry their clothes. I mean, which is okay. If that's how you live, that's how you live. Okay. Okay. I'll adjust. And still trying to get used to the money. So let's just say one American dollar is approximate. These are approximate. So one American dollar is worth about 390 dram. The, the money's called DRAM. Yeah, I think that's right. And so I just rounded off to 400. So for the 400 DRAM, is about $1. So if I'm in a store and I see something for $600, $600 I'm like, okay, 400 is a dollar. So 400, five, six, that's about $1.50. <laughs> Any American product here is very expensive. Like. A little thing of Jiffy peanut butter is like $6. Okay, so I went to the school. It was interesting. It's very, very small. I may not have my own classroom, which is kind of sad because, you know, I pride myself on my classroom and making it my own and so on and so forth. The schedule is not finalized, but I may be what you call a floater. That's okay. I'm just going with the flow right now. It is what it is. And I did bring things for my room, so I'm not sure how that's going to go, but it is what it is. A new experience. So trying to look beyond that. I don't have internet yet, so I may go to the school and use the internet. The school is open 24-7. There are guards on the premises 24-7. There are certain areas in i'm in yerevan yerevan is the capital of armenia so there are certain areas that look like you may be in afghanistan <laughs> but i think it's part of the old soviet union there's a whole history thing i'm learning it but when they were trying to figure out what land belonged to whom i believe there was a war blah 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 so there are certain areas that are still dilapidated, but it's coming to life here and there. And I'm going to show the good and the bad and the ugly. I mean, it is what it is. So if I look out my window, it's interesting. Okay, I'll show you guys that. And 
So I have to walk to school. So a good walk would be about 10, 15 minutes. But the kicker is that I have to walk in grass. And those who know me know I don't do grass. So I'm trying to wrap my brain around it and be like, it is what it is. Take it in, Joy. Take it in. You know, my toes be <laughs> my toes be curled up. <laughs> so I'm just like, okay, it is what it is. And I still need to get some dental work done. So what happens, the school where I'll be working, I'm going to be teaching children whose parents work for the United Nations and the Department of Defense. So when they are in this country, you know, they're getting the best of the best. They do their research on the best doctors, blah, blah, blah. And so we kind of have an inside scoop on where to go for medical, for dental. And I was told there's a phenomenal uh, dentist out here, um, highly recommended. He's been vetted by the United Nations. So I have to have a root canal. And you know, my little bridge thing broke, right? $60. In the States, we talk about thousands, a couple of grand, $60. You know, in my, in my head, you drilling a hole and doing like that with the, with, with the little needles. So anyway, I'll let you know how the dental work goes, but I hear this doctor, this dentist is phenomenal. I need to find um, a gynecologist who is who performs the surgery that I had. I had a laparoscopic hysterectomy. So in three weeks, I need to go see the doctor for a checkup. So my doctor in the States, he was like, you must see a doctor, blah, blah, blah. So that's that. School is very small, very, very small. So the class sizes would be small. So I assume you can really build relationships with these children. And a lot of the children, their parents own different companies. They own uh, wineries and they're just filthy rich, filthy, filthy rich. But just because they're rich, that doesn't mean that they don't have other types of needs. So I've been told, you know, so, you know, we all need something. Maybe it's love, maybe it's attention, maybe it's to be heard. So you just never know. Um, kids always need something, you know? And so that was that. They just came to clean my apartment. I mean, it was fairly clean. But it was a little dusty, so they mopped, cleaned the bathrooms really well, and um, lots of little things here and there. So they, the cleaners just left. And it is what it is. So the other thing in Armenia is that a lot of, the, a lot of people don't have AC, also because it gets very cool at night. And so you open your windows. And so I did, I have been open the window. So I have a fan over here. Um, they gave it to me from the school, just for my room. If I wanted, you know, to be cooler, I can always go to the living room, but you know, I feel, I feel comfortable in, you know, in my bedroom. The bed is comfortable. I put my own sheets on here, my own pillowcases. It's a very comfortable bed. Um, it's a heavy, heavy, heavy mattress. So it's very hard to lift. You know, I like my corners crispy and stuff. It's like a platform bag, so it's, it's, it's heavy. So I haven't really been able to lift it, and I'm still under doctor's restrictions. So we ventured out to, with my principal, we ventured out to the grocery store. And, and this is one of the most expensive grocery stores. And so, wait, let me go back. So I was told that I live in Vahagni, which is one of the richest neighborhoods in Armenia. So when people hear that you live in Vahapni, they're like, oh, that's money. So that's what I was told. Um, uh, some of the people from the UN live here. Many of the teachers live here. It is a gated community. You have to go through security to get in this community. I have not seen any Black people, not one, nothing, zero. I was also told that there's a Black basketball team here somewhere I don't know but I haven't seen no one black I've also come to the realization because we went to it's called SAS SAS that's the name of their popular grocery store it's still really small nothing like a Walmart or anything like that or a Target nothing nowhere near that size mm -mm, mm -mm. 
And so I went to, in the food court, they had a food court there. So what I've learned about Armenians, <laughs> they're not very friendly. Some are, but they're not very friendly. And they don't have, um, you know, since I've been in Texas for a long time, they don't have that Southern hospitality at all. They'll skip you in lines. If they're walking past you and they, you know, walking through you, they don't say, excuse me. As Americans, we would say that's rude, but culturally, that's just the way it is. And I had that, you know, I had to say, I'm like, did she just? And she was like, no, that's just their culture and you have to be aggressive. So they feel like if you come, if you're in line and you don't speak up for yourself, then you're going to get railroaded. Then that's on you. So it's kind of like that. You got to be a little aggressive. So if, you know, I'm in line somewhere and I could just walk up and skip somebody, I wouldn't do it. And they're not very friendly. Lots of stares, of course, because they probably never, a lot of them probably have never seen a black person before. Lots of staring, uh, not very friendly at all. So when we were in the grocery store, so the, the food court and the grocery store all connected, right? So then we went and we ate first, food was good. They're known for their bread. So I did get some bread, very good. And their wines, beer, cause they make their own stuff locally. So I tried one beer, it was, it was okay. I'm trying to compare it to Angry Orchard. <laughs> so if it's not sweet, then I don't want the treat. <laughs> so then we went to the grocery store. What's common here, and I thought it was because I was black, okay? They follow you around the store, follow you. I mean, they follow you so closely, you can hold their hand while you shop. And I'm not exaggerating. And I was like, so I was still with the principal. I was like, is she following me around or following us around because I'm black? She was like, so my storage is full. So I've been having a lot of problems with storage, my storage. So in the living room, I'm trying to find the best light in here. It is not that, child. Outside on the so I'm outside on the patio. Not much of a view, but <sighs> so yeah. So they follow you around in the store, and they follow everybody around. So it wasn't because I was black or something like that. That's just what they do. But it's so close, it's kind of uncomfortable. But maybe that's just the Omni culture. That's what they've been told to do. So I'm just trying to understand more than take offense to it. You know, I'm a visitor in their country, so not trying to. I'm not trying to ruffle any feathers with the way they do things. So let me show you a different area. Oh, let me show you the bread. Yeah, this door it just. I won't lie. So let me show you the bread I got. So this is the bread. I'm going to just keep making a mess. <laughs> and I ate some of the bread, so. I ate some of the bread. <laughs> it's huge. Clarice. So it's good bread. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a little chewy. But they make bread fresh all day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good. So I went to, I only bought a few things. Look my teeth. I didn't know what to buy. So let me show you what I bought from the grocery store. 
Got some peanut butter. I don't know why. It's not like I'd be going crazy for peanut butter. And this was like $6. I got some olive oil and some balsamic vinegar. And I brought some of my own seasonings. Okay. These are all, <laughs> these are all my snacks I had on the flight. I know I'm not going to find this here. So I got my Goya. I got my Sazon packet. I got some Slap Your Mama onion powder, garlic powder. And this was here. And one can of sardines. Like tuna fish, expensive here. Bread. This is what they bought me when it was it was in the apartment. So they bought me like a few starter things. Bananas. This is their version of bread. This was expensive too, but they bought that for me. Come on, come on. Let's see. Um, the guy who bought this, this is cheese and some ham. But I'm not going to eat this. I'm going to throw this in the trash because I think the guy bought it and it sat in the car for several hours. Like this was soft. I'm like beyond soft. It was mushy, like soft. It was hot, almost like a grilled cheese. So this, I'm not going to risk it. And these, I don't know, I, what are these, apricots? Yeah, I didn't like those. Um, the peach was good. This is, uh, what do you call this? This is their version of cottage cheese. And I love cottage cheese with, tomatoes since the guy bought me tomatoes like what i'm gonna do with the tomatoes so i like cottage cheese so i'm going to try that cottage cheese he bought me butter and sometimes i'll leave my butter out so i'll keep the butter and cucumbers i was like okay maybe cucumbers are popular here and then i bought some yogurt i usually use greek yogurt plain greek yogurt so i'll see i'll just try it so I'm going to throw these things away. The eggs, I don't know. The eggs were, he had that. So I don't know if I should risk it. I don't know. And peaches. I got some, I didn't buy too much. I didn't know what to buy. So I just got little things that I know that could hold me for several days. I got some locks. Um, the principal said that this cheese is really good. So I had some of this cheese and butter in that bread last night. And then from the food market, I got some chickpea salad. I'm not gonna open all this. Chickpea salad. I got some tabbouleh. If you don't know what tabbouleh is, I, I can't explain it. But it, this is actually very good. I got some hummus and potato salad, but I didn't care for the potato salad. And I always just put a glass of water Always have a glass of water. Ah, that's good. And some peaches. Okay, this is outside the ki my kitchen window. My phone will pull out there. Oh, well, it is what it is. This is outside my kitchen window, right? But then if you look further over there, you kind of see it's rubble. I don't know. I think it's part of the old Soviet when they were in the war or whatever. So, interesting. So, this is my neighborhood. That's what it looks like down there. So, let me show you the view from the bedroom. And I guess, you know, they had, it was a fully furnished. I guess they drink a lot of tea or coffee here. I don't know. Every cabinet, it had something, coffee mugs or something like that. Like every, okay. I don't know. Every cabinet had something with coffee, tea mugs, whatever. So let me show you. And I showed you guys the bathroom and stuff already. 
but it came in clean. Oh, the bath kind of made delicious up in here. They cleaned the bathroom. This is a storage closet. And I haven't unpacked yet. So this is the guest bedroom. I think these things, this is weighted. I think it keeps the door propped open or something. There are a couple of these around. And I vacuum sealed all my clothes for shipping. And then I hang it up. But I'm probably going to use this, this bureau for my clothes. And let me show you. Oh, let's see what it looks like from here. Yeah. I think people live right there. Okay, this is from the guest bedroom, another patio. This is. I had these windows propped open last night okay so now let me explain let me explain let me explain do you see this right up there that is sorry about that that was my principal who called to set up the internet so anyway so right up there right that's called the beach and this little little thing right here it, we saw people sitting out there last night and it's so cozy this is a pizza shop a pizza shop this i didn't know what this was but people live there but if you look over here look see my phone is full out all of this out there that's like undeveloped i don't know Yeah, so, and then right over here to this door, that is, um, they're going to have an art exhibition. So I was told artists live in here, and the guy who owns the beach, I was told, I was told that his family owns the, the community where I live, Bahagni. I mean, you got money around here. Money, money, okay? Not play money, the real money, okay? And so we went over to the beach. And when you go in, you go up to the top floor, and it is, they have sand. So the floor is sand. It's all sand, which I thought was pretty cool. And the owner is from New Jersey. So I'm sorry. So when people ask me where I'm from, I say New York, okay? And you know, people can associate that more. And one of my friends, he was like, you still say you from New York? Yes. I don't, I didn't really put down roots in Texas. I mean, you know, I did it for my kids, but New York will always be my home. You know, that's what I identify with is with New York. So I just always say New York. And a guy, older gentleman, uh, he's from New Jersey, and he was he was really friendly, and we chatted a little bit. But the principal was she was trying to march up out of there for her own specific reasons, and so I may go there one night, and I'll definitely go to the art exhibition. And so, what many of you probably don't know is that my two daughters, Bobby and Sydney, they're a year apart. They're a year apart. They're first grade teacher it has come full circle their first grade teacher first bobby had her first grade then my daughter sydney had a first grade so she had both of my girls in first grade but we stayed in touch through facebook over the many many years i don't know how we became friends on facebook i don't know but we just remained friends on facebook and she told me about this position position she told me about this position that opened up here in Armenia 
and I went through the interview process and it took several months and you know so I kind of wavered back and forth and then I was like well the kids are older they really don't need me I was only beside the point okay and so I decided to pick up and move and go on an adventure so although there are troubles and stuff going on in Iran um, and other neighboring countries because we're in Asia but some people say that Armenia is in Europe so they just do a balance and say Eurasia so if you ask any Armenia they may say Asia they may say Europe but to fly to any of the countries is you could get great deals to go to any of the neighboring countries so I'm in a bit of a pickle I left my hair you know when I do my hair I left, we were in a rush, packing last minute. It was a mad dash. And I left my extra hair supplies in the car. There are no black hair supply stores here. So I don't know what to do. Am I about to fly to Dubai or, or, or Africa somewhere? Just a, a quick trip? Because a sister needs to do her hair. This is getting puffy. I don't know what to do. So the principal told me that there are two women, two black women who work for the United Nations or the Department of Defense, I'm not sure which. And she said that um, they're black, so she's gonna try to figure out how to get a message to them to see where they go for their hair. So I don't know, they may just travel. So I gotta find out before school starts. You know, when school starts, everybody wanna be fresh and clean and also clean, clean. So do I and do so baby left that hair left all my beauty supplies mm -mm, no bueno okay so oh my daughter's first grade teacher she told me so the first grade teacher is here too so i'm going out she got here her story was bizarre you know the flight lots of obstacles lots of obstacles but she made it she was supposed to leave on the 20th she didn't make it here. Her and her family didn't make it here to the 27th. All flight related. It was crazy. But when there, are, when there are obstacles that are put in your way, if you're meant to have something, be somewhere, do something, it's going to work out. It may not always be easy, but something will work out. So she made it. So I haven't seen her. Um, the principal and I, um, she showed me where her house, her house is. So all the teachers live in Bahavni, in this gated community, and we are going to dinner tonight. So I was like, okay, I kind of wanted to take another nap. Well, not another. I woke up around six. So six o'clock my time in the morning is probably nine, nine o'clock your time. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a nine hour difference. So that's that. The principal is gonna, she's coming over right now so they can set up my internet. And I was gonna walk to that school. I didn't wanna walk in that heat. You're walking in grass. So I may look into getting a bike so I can bike to the school. A little moped would be cute, but I don't know. I have to see and weigh my options, but definitely some type of bike. So it, there's no getting up late and all that stuff. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. There's nothing late about <laughs> this. Just gotta walk. I don't know why I'm acting like that because in New York, I mean, I walked all the time, but I'm like, well, I gotta walk to work, you know, and it really cools down lovely at night. And Armenia, 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 I don't know, Joe, is the 17th safest country in the world. So you can walk out at night. And here's an example. I carry my phone, my phone and wallet is like attached and I left it in the Uber. And before he pulled off, <coughs> I, excuse me, I guess he checks the car when passengers get out and baby, he got out of the car and handed me my, my phone wallet, left it right on the seat. So I didn't bring a purse because I couldn't fit anything else. So I need to go to the mall and get a few items I need like a comforter for my bag. So these are my sheets. They feel so good. So I need that. Um, they gave me the fan from school, so I don't need to get that. 
um, I need towels. I didn't pack any towels. It was just, it was just chaos packing up the last moving out of the hotel. It was just chaos. But I need towels. I need a floor mat for the bathroom. I need washcloths. So there are little things that I need. And I'm not sure if my electric toothbrush will charge here. Let me show you what the plugs look like here. And so they used the European style plugs here. So I did buy an adapter. So the plugs look like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is an adapter. I don't know how I do it. So this is how the plugs look here. So I did buy an adapter that, can, that I'm using, and it has a USB to it. So. That's it for now. I'll let you know how my day transpires. I'll let you know how my day transpires for my second day in Armenia. But so far, so good. A um, little bummed about the classroom, but it is what it is. So I'm just trying to, you know, be respectful of their culture and the way they do I'm trying to be respectful of their culture and the way they do things and, you know, not in the way they can be. Delete that. So until next time, I will fill you in on more little details about quitting my job in America and moving to Armenia. All right. Until next time. Bye, y'all. So if you have any questions, if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. Until next time, later.